Is this for George?
Stop on stage? Uh, no, I'll take it. Alright, work. Little area downstairs. So what do you think, Philip? You, you, you guys are reach it too? Mm -hmm. The base is, base is fucking freaking out. Of it. It's 50 feet. The weather is just the best time. You can't even be on a fucking. Uh, it hasn't really hit you either. Right? I know, it puts this up and down shit and it's freaking out of it. So. A little Clorox on it.
Here's John Locke was... <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking there, John? Uh, it's like chocolate milk. Chocolate milk. Bobby, how do you remember this? I know man. this shit, man. Man, I didn't think you had a brain. That's amazing. That's, 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 that doesn't mean we're going where I think we're going. This is the real fringe. <laughs> Where's the dressing room, Bobby? It's down here. Another flight back. Cool. Okay, I'm going to wrap my stuff. I'll see you guys out there. Yeah. All right, man. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the third night of Boston Service with the Music Festival and Eric Hewitt, your festival director. Woo! Now, growing up as a young saxophonist in Boston, um, we're in the presence of a saxophone legend tonight, and it's an incredible honor to host the Fringe in this spiritual music to take a journey through composition and improvisation that is rooted in jazz, but which goes way beyond jazz. So, because they need no introduction, and without further ado, George Garzon and the Fringe.
So, uh, because this is a celebration of Coltrane, which is not only my idol, but everyone's idol on the planet. Um, <laughs> and it's also, this is, I'm marking this as the beginning of next year's the 40th year of this band. Look at these guys. <laughs> Scholars, mentors, they taught you. They teach you every Monday night. So, okay, we're going to start with Coltrane's Crescent.
Okay, so we're supposed to, we were supposed to play a 40 minute set, but for the fridge that's a 40 minute set, hour and 10. So I just want to let you know that again, next year is the 40th year, and we're bringing a band to Melbourne, Australia to celebrate the 40th. And we're five years to pull it off and finally I made them an offer they couldn't refuse. Chelsea and Winthrop. <laughs> <laughs> you make that? So Bob Gulati on drums. John Walker on the bass. You don't realize when you've been playing so long together, you witness things, you know, you go through things and you feel things that other bands, you know, haven't experienced because they haven't been that together that long, just that longevity of longevity. <laughs> Good. Okay, here we go. Thank you. 